Yes, two days back, General Kaguta M7 decided to bring back the budget that was passed by Parliament and wrote very many things saying that the budget is not correct as it's supposed to be. We all know for the past one month, Parliament has been under scrutiny where members of Parliament used to inflate the budget so that they can steal public funds. So when they passed the budget, I was surprised that the budget was 72 million shillings. Trillion. Okay, down from 58 trillion shillings, with 20 trillion being added in, into the budget. And for me, that's where I got to know that these people were up to something. So the president decided to bring back the letter, the, the, the budget to be tabled in parliament so that they can scrutinize it again. So in this episode, I've come to talk about the act of the president bring, bringing back the budget to parliament, what it signals and what it means for our politics, and most importantly, the certain materials we can learn from the politics of our nation. But before I do this, I want to let you know that if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you're watching this video from a different platform, please head on to YouTube. Type in Sula Mawagari. There's a lot of content of this nature. If geopolitics and economics is what you want, this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to. So a few days back, General Kagutam 7 decided, decided to bring back the budget that was passed by the August House so that it can be scrutinized again, citing some loopholes. For a very long time, the budget is, has been used as a tool to steal public funds. By the stealing public funds using the pen. Okay? But this has largely been done by General Kagutam 7. Because we all know every time State House needs money, it, pa it passes, it sends a supplementary to Parliament so that it can get money. Uh, okay, and I think this prompted even other members of parliament to steal using the budget. We all know that service hours passed in this budget. Okay, different members of parliament were are still facing charges in courts for inflating the budget and stealing corporate money. Okay, so today Yoruka Gutam 7 wrote a letter saying, and I quote, I think you, are, you can see there clearly. Uh, that is the letter, which shows notice of plenary seating to reconsider the appropriation bill 2024. Parliament passed the appropriation bill 2024 on Thursday, 16th May 2024. However, His Excellency the President has returned the bill to Parliament for reconsideration in accordance with the provision of Article 91, 3b, and c of the Constitution. This is therefore to inform you that there will be plenary seating of Parliament on Tuesday, 2nd July, at 2 p.m. to reconsider the appropriation bill 2024 copy to speak of parliament deputy prime minister etc that is the letter that was written by january kagutam 7 saying that the, the the budget must be scrutinized again so we must ask ourselves where is the pres the president sending back the budget the reason is this budget entailed a lot of corruption money and i think the reason as to why parliament is is also corrupt is because they are learning from their leader Genome 7 is the most corrupt leader in Uganda who uses budget to get whatever he, he wants. We all remember that State House is over pampered. It uses almost 3 billion a day. So, after members of parliament seeing this, what do you expect them to do is to, to also infer the budget so that they can get what they want. Okay? That's the truth. So, by bringing back the budget, one, Genome 7 is tightening the grip on parliament. Why am I saying it's tightening the grip on parliament? It is being presented over as speak of parliament who is facing sanctions, but also corruption allegations. Okay? And remember, even these members of parliament inflated the budget so that they can get something from with it, from this budget, because they see Genome 7 getting almost everything. Okay? So by returning it to parliament, it's a vote of no confidence to parliament. But also, it is a sign that he will be looking closely for people who snoops public funds in parliament okay three it also shows the weakness of the speaker i've always said that the worst mistake to ever happen to ugandan parliament is to electing anita anita among as the speaker of parliament that's why everything is in this array the, that's why everything in this array okay the way she presided over the house okay it leads the house in emotions because every mistake in parliament but it's be as attributed partly because of the poor leadership where is it that this never happened during other speakers this is the first time the budget is being returned it's the first time so this is not good news and the way how politics is done in the country this is not good news 
in the way how parliament is being taken for granted. In fact, if a chance is given to a common man to abolish parliament, which is so unfortunate, they would abolish it. In fact, the parliament at least must be the arbiter. It must check the executive. It must be repre the true representation of the people because this is where they draw their mandate. But, but by the look of things, everything is going in this area. And it's time for Uganda to come out and stop this nonsense of parliament and the NRM regime. Of course, that's my opinion. Do you make comments by commenting about this? Thank you very much for listening in. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, I employ you to subscribe, like, and comment so that you can be motivated to do more of such videos. I'll see you on another one. Peace.